Hey guys, it's Friday. I believe October 14th or 15th. <clears throat> so before I go into this video, I want you to realize that there's no production company here. There's no stage lighting. There's just me as a master electrician trying to help my apprentices learn. And if you're watching this video and you're on YouTube, just realize that there's no benefit as far as putting it up on YouTube. There's no YouTube money coming my way. That's not why I'm doing this, okay? So I'm not staging anything, all right? The difficulties in learning and the learning process I'm going to be honest with you, it just it's not just a matter of my helpers learning and your second year learning and then your third year learning, but even I'm learning as a master electrician, as a business owner, being on site. Guy like as much as yeah, the times are tough for helpers and apprentices, but the one value that they see if they're on a job site with me is they see me take it on the chin all day long. From the moment I get into the office, I'm putting fires out and I'm dealing with whatever situations are coming my way. And that's part of the growth. Like I'm still learning today. I, I'm still finding out problems that I, even I have. Now my problems come at come at me at different ways than helpers, but I lead by example. And then I, I post videos, so if it's not on the job and they're not learning on the job, they can go onto these videos and they can, they can help themselves, okay? And I, I wanna help any apprentice out there, anyone that's trying to figure this trade out and figure out how to become a better tradesman in the electrical trade, that's what these videos are for. They're, they're not a monetary compensation coming my way. It is more to help my guys understand this trade better. And not just my guys, but a lot of them are universal laws that are in this trade. So we're gonna get into one of these, and especially for working increasing your value in the trade, meaning more compensation for you. But it's not, I wouldn't look at it as an increase in pay. I would look at it as an increase in value in yourself. And as you increase the value of yourself, other people will be willing to pay more for you. And that, so it's, it's, a, it's a cause and effect. Um, if you wanna have that type of motivation to go get a raise, okay, but it's hard work, okay? And it, yes, to, to, to increase your value, you have to correct the things that are devaluing you. And, and it, it's across the board, and I'm gonna get into a story about a guy I worked with, his name was Bob, and he was an awesome mechanic. He was probably one of the first guys that was kind enough to just show me how to do an outlet correctly, okay? Bob should have been making a lot more money than Bob was. If, if you are judging based on electrical skill alone. But in this trade, we're not judged by our skill alone. We're judged by all facets of our being, all facets of, of our, our livelihood, okay? Of, our, of what we do every day, okay? So let me make, an example, what a, so this was one of Bob's issues and it's not just Bob's issues, it's everyone's issues. We all have this, as you increase through the trade, you have to eliminate these things to make yourself more valuable. So when we have, number one thing is being late. It doesn't matter why you're late. It doesn't matter if you have kids doesn't matter if you you and your wife share a vehicle. It it doesn't matter to the trade their excuses. And they might be valid excuses. I'm not stating that it's an unvalid excuse. I'm just stating that it's an excuse. 
if you want to become valuable in the trade, you have to be valuable. So one is timing, okay? These are things that have nothing to do with electric that increase your value. So if you're entering this trade, you, you know, you're, how you conduct yourself timing wise, are you early on the job site? How, how many breaks are you taking? Do you get lazy quickly? Do you put your hands in your pockets? All these things affect your value. It's not just, are you able to do electrical, okay? I just showed up to an estimate. At nine o'clock, I had to be there at nine o'clock, I pulled in at 8.50, okay? But I usually try to be, like 15 minutes early can be a bit stretching it. I've been to estimates 30 minutes early and sat in my truck and I didn't have a problem that way. But usually 10 minutes are always a nice, you know, it's complimentary. But it, it shows value in the fact that the, the homeowner, his time is valuable. So if I respect the homeowner and I respect the homeowner's time, that means I become more valuable because of that. All right, and in, same thing with apprentices. If you're on time every day or early every day, you respect my time, that means you're more valuable to me. That's how this works you have to create value within yourself if you want to create more wealth for you later on and that's just one little that's like one little facet okay as a helper coming into this trade and not knowing anything there are the things that you can work on first okay um your diet you know if you're not paying attention and you're sluggish because you slam down a pound of pasta Stop slamming down pounds of, pounds of pasta, okay? These things that you can auto-correct, you can do yourself. They're the things that can, you start the ball rolling, and then, you know, if I have a helper that's on the job early, every day, and he's alert, his hands are out of his pocket, I am gonna teach that guy anything he wants to know because he's already realizing what's valuable. So if you wanna get that ball started, fix the things that you can fix. Quit smoking or go to vaping so you can actually not stink. The number one thing is smell, like the smell of smoking. If you're on a commercial site and no one's around you, rock on, you know, smoke them up, you know, do whatever you wanna do. But if you're gonna be in front of people and you value their opinion, put the cigarette down. If you don't want to, you don't want to. Like there, there's people that, you know, I've had, I've had a mechanic that couldn't take notes and he knew he couldn't take notes and he accepted that. So he accepted that was a hindrance in his value. So whatever his value is, if he could take notes, it would become more valuable. He, by not working on yourself or by saying, I don't care and I'm not willing to work on yourself, you are devaluing your abilities and you're devaluing what your wealth is. And I know people don't like hearing it, but it, it's that's what the market is there for. The, the free market is amazing. That's why certain people make how much money they make and why other people don't make that much money. Okay, so if you're an apprentice in this trade and you wanna gain value, work on the things that you can work on already and then go from there, all right? God bless, enjoy your Friday and um, we'll talk soon.